Allen versus Jay Smith. Like, and you know, on. you know very well that you know one of the people I talk to the most is Gorilla on the side of Long Shoes English. is renowned, and he's a very affable guy. Pretty even showing for both sides. Predictably, the Thunderlords is the mastery or keystone here for Talon. Jace will be getting the preferable push and get a good back timing. Or even just to survive lane is enough. And speaking oh, of surviving really lane. rough spot here for Gorilla. Flashes away, still takes a lot of damage. One more hit. There we go. It's going to come up from Tucson with the first blood. Crash now diving in. Fighting off more than he can chew. Spirit is hot on his heels. He'll cleanse off that. Oh, they want this, though. That's going to be the ghost gift. Getting popped by the Olaf. Charges forward. Has a Ragnarok fly. Goes in over the wall. He will get rooted by the Deadly Flourish. That could set him up for, to take some more damage. He's going to go ahead and pop the Shadow Assault, but just has to die back. Gorilla goes low. The grenade gets Spirit on the almost back end. taking him out. But yeah, that's going to be Spirit going down. So really forward push there by Law. Keep himself safe. Gorilla and Prey, they're coming up the lane. They're going to try to open Asher. this one up. Spirit, he's going to get caught and cleanses it off immediately with a Ragnarok. But it doesn't even matter. He just gets bursted down. Kill credit goes over to Crash. They're just not respecting the burst damage. Olaf so usually is able to twitch and get out of anything. But losing the resist, both Rengar and Talon looking for kills. No kill credit to Talon, but certainly over to the Rengar, getting him going to oh, ideal. Crash goes low, bullet time opened up. He's going to die, and the dragon is still picked up by the Rengar in the end. Gorilla getting hit by multiple shots from that curtain call. is going to set up for a twisted advance from Mar. They lock him down. One more shot from Kramer. Ought to take him out. Right, flashing the wall, trying to get himself out to safety. There we go. Deadly Flourish not going to connect, but they can just go ahead. Flash forward for this one, but still a free cut. They have to invest so much just to come up with these two, these kills in the bottom lane. They will get the double. Marin takes the second one. But the Dragon still goes over to Longju. Yeah, no worries there. They could take their time because Marin can always instantly drop turret aggro with the Twisted Advance with a minion wave near. Maokai has no armor whatsoever, so honestly, this is the one time maybe he'd accept Maokai. Uh-oh, Gorilla, Gorilla in a bad spot. Here comes Spirit, just dashes his way in. Turn call gets interrupted on the back end, but it's too little too late. They want Marin. Marin's already dead. They're going to be looking for Marin. Yes, he goes low, no does flash. not have the flash available. Dredge line connects. He's going to go down. It's a matter of who gives the, gets the kill. We'll be crash in the end. So they take him down. They're able to answer a kill on the top side of the map, but now mid-tier one. And Flex that right now. Crash getting locked up. Spirit goes forward. Has the, the Ragnarok backside. down. Single Thorns comes up. Pops up. Marin still just getting whittled away at, by this Ash very steadily, but a big shield comes through to keep him safe. Bullet time. Forces the heal out. Double exhaust Greg. down. Stretch line down. They find two, so they it's take gonna be him fight. out. That's going to be Crash diving back in over the wall. Takes a big burst of damage from the Shock Blast, but he's still able to make it out with his life as Marin falls. Jumping back he's gonna in. Get it. Comes up with a kill onto Koro. Four members out of Freak of Freaks go down. Longju coming up with a fight. It was looking really rough for them, but they're able to inch out ahead of Afrika. Explode with Baron. four kills, and they're going to go for the Baron. They say, Mountain Drake be damned. We want the bigger prize. And we said woulda, shoulda, coulda. Afrika should have had the tools, but they overlapped exhausts onto Talon. Both used, and then the ring age. They didn't fully disengage. They ended up funneling back into AoE. Prey putting out the slows was enough to continue the fight going, and nothing for Olaf to do. Doesn't have Flash. Can't just walk in. No ult. Will be Baron over to Longju. They finally found what they were looking for, and just not in the map goes, despite it being, as you say, on paper, blind pick talent. Well, they want Marin yet again. Lock him down. Dredge line comes through. They'll root him up, and there's just nothing he can do without a flash. Bray picks up the kill, and like you said, just not obscenely tanky yet is Marin. So Prey, even without that infinity edge, which you can see he's gonna be building up next, is still able to take down that tree with adequate uh, CC. Well. That rhymed. That could be a Dr. Seuss tale. <laughs> Take down that tree with adequate CC. Well, that's the second turret. That's just the first inhibitor turret. The fly working on the other one. They have to give up the bottom inhibitor turret. Soon going to be a rotation over to mid. Freaking don't have the items, so they can't really contest. They can't really push up. They don't. Marn has to go back, clear out the waves that are about to be knocking down those Nexus turrets. So long as you come up with yet another Baron. And with the Baron, just like we said, long as you were kind of up against the wall if they were facing a Baron with the Baron, having Tal on the side lane. Not many answers to that. Going to be able to push in. The F sword in the inventory for Fly. You might think, okay, just going to be the Edge of Night. Not the Edge of Night, sorry. The uh, Dusk Blade built out of that one. And it still could be, but Infinity Edge has always been a consideration on the Talon. He has a crit modifier on his Q, the uh, Noxian Diplomacy. So can have just have massive burst damage if you get IE. See if he even gets a chance to finish that item, so we might not ever find out. 
Well, what Fly and Rengar are in the top lane, so yep. goodbye, Turret. Yep, they knock that down very quickly. Afrika just too late to rotate. We'll be able to defend that in him, but now they're just going to lose the mid turret instead. Super Grapes still on top of that Nexus. So they are just being spread way too thin. Afrika can't find any ins. Marn flashing for it, immediately gets rooted, has to twist advance on top of Expression. Now just sitting in the front line, taking all of this damage from Prey. Just firing off steadily, who's in flashing out. Let's get himself out to safety, but Marin goes down as Fly picks up the kill. They'll get the GA pop onto Spirit. First Nexus turn will fall, as well as that third and final inhibitor. And Longshu here, under 33 minutes, looking to close out the game. Prey flashing forward, going on the aggressive. Dredge line connects on the Kramer, but they're just stuck inside the fountain, completely relegated to watch their base lose. Channel Thorns won't connect, but that will be the Nexus going down. Longshu, bit of a rocky start. Turn things around at that Mountain Drake. Come out 10 to 5 in the end with a massive gold lead. And you just can't help but take your hat off when you go for such an execution heavy comp and pull it off. Not one to copy at home for either teams or individuals. Very risky. Talon stacking damage. A jungler, the Rengar, stacking damage. A couple of armor items comes in for the Olaf and Maokai. The game's even. This comp is the epitome of. I'm not a huge fan of Zillion for Kuro. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you. This just seems like it's a bit of a stretch here for Kuro. Picking the Zillion especially. Every time I see the Ku and Rocks Tigers. Apparel single tier. From previous years, single tier. Swelled Smalls Violin. Yeah. It's a different season. For right now, seems like uh, Tucson can hit E real good. Oh, stun hits here. Uh -oh. Yeah, Fly oh, does get stunned up. He'll go into that Shadow Assault. Can he make it out? Tries to go back in on the Kuro, but... They'll come up short, and that's first blood picked up by Spirit. Yeah, that's one from Kuro. Registering the stock. Stack Cho'Gath in a brush. Hilarious. It's oh boy, Glacial action time. Yeah, comes through. Dodged out by Crash. He goes up with a repel. Flash away from the Deadly Flourish. They don't get rooted, but now the Gurkhal comes out. Prey throws out the Ash Arrow. But the damage still coming through onto Gorilla. He gets locked up. Looks like he's going to go down. There we go. Afri or Spirit picks up a second kill for Afrika. Now a third as he gets himself a double kill onto Prey. Fly, still very far forward. Has that Shadow Assault out, but just has to head for the hills. Expression gets locked up by the concussive blows, but will be quite safe on that tanky Nautilus. So two kills. Pick. Looking uh -oh. in the bot lane now, they're spotted out, so Gorilla can just open up distance. Yeah, Dark Passage, flash forward, Glacier nice Fisher stop does from on to Gorilla. Ashar comes out, locks up Spirit. That might be enough for them to exit. Exhaust comes down, Gorilla gonna be the target. He already falls. Spirit comes up with a kill. Prey going low. That's gonna be another double kill going over to the Kha'Zix. Five on the board for Spirit. What a turnaround performance from his last couple games. Such an explosive entry to the series. Fly goes in though, looking for Kramer. Will be able to help take him down, but the Zillion ultimate is there. The Chronoship brings him back up. Going goes on. down, Fly gets locked up. Another kill for Spirit. Now six and zero on the Kha'Zix. Can he find Crash? Looks like the answer will be no. He goes up with the Repel, and that's gonna be the arrival of Expression. The pop-up Kuro, can they get an answering kill? Kuro oh, he gets the spirit. spirit! The line comes through, he jumps back in, the bomb ticking down on the crash, barely gets out with his life. They'll answer two kills back, and Spirit dies for the first time. Major shutdown coming through for Expression. I mean, the roam at the start was super from Afrika. They got hundreds separating the two teams at the moment. Gorilla fishing for a hook. We'll come up short, Crash, he walks in. Doesn't really have anywhere to go. Jumps down on top nope. of Tucson, but yeah, there's just no way to get out of that one. He goes down, so just pushing way too aggressively in on that ramp. And again, it's still a true story. Oh, Coming through from expression, though. Ash Arrow oh, lands on spirit the spirit. Too. Glacial Fisher comes through, pops up Gorilla. Deadly Flourish, not going to lock anybody up. That's already the Kha'Zix going down. As Fly picks up a double kill on the Talon. Kuro tossing out some bombs from the backside. Won't come up with much. Curtain Call comes through, but everybody on Longju is perfectly healthy, perfectly willing to tank this up. Fourth and final shot. Will go out, finds Expression. Not gonna whittle down that Nautilus nearly enough, but the wave clear is there for Afrika, so they will stop that turret from going down. I didn't see where Marin used his teleport. I think it was actually to get to lane, but we'll get confirmation of that later. And looking for an extra objective. We're only 16 minutes in. We've had so much action already. Yeah. They want to contest the Rift Herald. Yeah, they're gonna go for this one. Crash has a bomb ticking on him. Goes up with a repel, but he's still gonna go down as Kramer comes up with a kill. Rift Herald does die. Buff gets picked up, picked up by Expression, but now Longju stuck inside the pit. Marin trying to stick on top of Prey. He has to flash over the backside of the wall. Fly, they try to lock him up, but he's got parkour, oh. baby. He jumps Step over the wall. Touch. Kramer trying to chase down on the Connect on to Marin. Expression waiting from behind. Flash forward on to Prey. They lock it down with Twisted Advance. Here comes Spirit. Takes that dark passage out to safety, though. 
No one's Here it dead. goes low. Box comes down, just trying to slow up. Mara in the back line. He goes back in with a twisted advance. Fly does indeed jump into the back. It's a little bit of damage onto Kramer. But meanwhile, you know, Mara, he's all his lo oh, he's lonesome. They're also distracted Flies by Fly. The Maokai goes down, jumps in onto Kuro, takes a lot of damage, has the Chrono Shift up onto himself. So will not go down yet. Special goes forward, gets a rip tie. They're able to take out two. Sin Kuro comes back up to the Chrono Shift, gets hooked up by Gorilla, and he will fall. Three kills picked up by Longju, losing nobody, and you have to think they're going to finally be able to answer with a turret here. Buff just about. They just want a place to fight. Around. They don't care about the Drake. Yeah, Gorilla goes forward, gets the hook in onto Kramer. The box comes down. Big pop-up, though, onto Longju as that Glacial Fisher comes through. Ray taking that dark passage out to safety. Chris That's the Spirit, the first one going down. Tucson, one hit from dead as well. Curtain call opened up. Mar into the back line, the only one trying to kill the carries of Longju, but there's just nothing he can do. Will get an arcane smash off right at the last second to take out Crash, but that's going to be a two for one. They are able to net themselves that Mountain Drake, but Assault. And now the rest of Longshu pushing forward from below. Tucson going to be the first target. He goes down to Crash, picks up the killing blow. Expression still very tanky, just sitting in the front lines. Accidentally pops that bomb on the gorilla as he almost gets rooted by the deadly flourish, but it looks like Long taking this Baron. They're going to go for this. They're going to try and rush it down. They only have a single Mountain Drake, but a lot of Baron damage with the Elise as well. I mean, Kramer. It's not with the team. He's running Three back from the health. recall. Baron's Spirit going low. This. Spirit's going to have to leap in, try to get this one, but he's not able to find it. Crash comes over the Baron, and that's going to be Spirit dying immediately. Marin all on his lonesome yet again, just being chunked down time. And time again goes forward on a Gorilla, is able to take him out with the Arcane Smash. Fly goes low, will get popped. Kramer flashes forward for the kill. It looks like he can't do much else here. Marin still getting whittled away. Ash Arrow comes back up. Flash forward with the Cocoon. They lock up Kramer, and they take him down. And that is going to be a Freak uh, effectively aced as Tucson did a respawn, Baron picked up for that. Doing a, a fantastic awesome here. Remember, job. Talon can't be here. Yeah, he is all the way on the other side of the map. They're going to lock down Expression, likely just surrender his life for the rest of Long Jews. So they will do that. So whittle down Expression. Sharing the, the bomb. They're going to say, taking the bomb into your team, maybe not the best idea. Turn on to Marin. Marin's yeah, falling straight. quickly. Going to get locked up here. Ash Arrow does come through. He's got that big shield. Kramer's out the fight. Try to keep him safe. Fly still poking around to the back. Kramer has to run away. Shadow Assault will pull those blades through. Deals a bit of damage. Going to be Marin coming back up now. This time and Kramer's down. Kuro picking up a kill. That's going to be Fly dying. Prey and Gorilla all fall. Expression. Last shot comes through. 995 damage even onto the Nautilus. He goes down. Crash. There's just not really a hope in the world. We'll flash over the wall. And Marin is on the chase. He's got a GA still going to stay alive, but that very well could be an inhibitor going over to a Freak of Freaks as they push down this mid lane. They finally pull off the Zillion strat. Although Marin was tanking solo, he was able to be revived. This time, Fly can't assassinate the Kramer, who gets the kill, can open up from range. Doesn't matter if his health bar's at 400. They're going to try and end the game right now. Certainly looks that way. Still 20 seconds on Prey and Fly. Crash. He's trying to pull the minions yeah. and anyone else he can. Trying to buy some time. The minions definitely coming with him. So this is a good strategy for him. Still several tanky members on the side of Afrika. Gorilla looking Gorilla's for it in. The well. first turret goes down. Bombs won't connect. They're onto the second one. Throws out the Dark Passage. Plays them away. Just trying to buy some time. Tucson will go down. They're okay. not going to be able to Undermars. end. They're not going to find it. Crash comes back in. He takes out Spirit. Ash Arrow in. Connects onto the Maokai. And they should be able to take Flies him out. Home guards. Twisted advances in on to Gorilla, just trying to create some distance, but he gets played right Teleport back. as well. TP from Expression into the back. Throws out the depth charge straight in onto Kramer. Chrono Shift is there, but he flashes forward to lock up Kuro, who doesn't have a flash of his own. Now Fly joins in, takes out the Jin. He's hot on the heels of the Zillion. Whether or not he can catch him probably doesn't matter too much to Longju, because now they can take their pick of the litter. There's an inhibitor, there's an elder dragon, there's a baron. What do you want, Longju? Because it's yours for the taking. Kuro needs to teleport out. He's doing that now. Three and a half second channel. He's got it. Yep. We'll be able to complete that, but they're still going to lose at least a Baron here. It's looking so dangerous from Longju. They almost lose the game right there, but they're able to buy enough time. Wonderfully played by Crash. Crash at the maximum you could ever expect for someone in that scenario. To do 1v5, pulling the minions, pulling some aggro. Nothing to tank up. It was only a single melee minion when they turned on. And look how much leaving the game open and not being able to close it has cost a freak. I'm sure they would have had the victory, but now not having the victory. Baron, Elder Drake, only a single, but still a denial of something to pick up on the map. They'll also have minions pushing. Uh, Marin goes forward. Deadly Flourish won't connect. 
We go ahead, they hook him in. Big depth charge connects as Koro goes up. His fly. Especially just trying to slow up the spirit as best as he can. And now fly poking into the back line. They lock up Marin yet again. He will go down. He's going to come back up. Kramer's dead. Chrono, sh Chrono ship. That's going to be Kramer going down. As Prey finds the kill. Marin twisted advance. Just trying to create some distance. Get himself out of here. But they play him back in yet again. They lock him up. That's going to be a double kill. Going over to Prey. Spirit has to leap his way out to safety. And now you have to think that Longju might just be able to break the base. They don't have much of a way, but a couple more shots. But at least take down that turret. They do find it. Now can rotate over towards the top where the inhibitor has been exposed. Can they push forward? Kuro is still here. Like He's three lanes, healthy. and they're going to teleport in. Yeah, Expression going to go ahead and commit the TP in. They knock down the first inhib. Second one should follow in mid. They might just be able to get a clean sweep on all three of them. As they go throughout the base, 20 seconds left on Kramer, 30 on Marin. Longju, could they end it here? It seems so unlikely with how low Fly is. The hook from Gorilla not going to connect. Expression throws out the depth charge yet again. Pops up Kuro, who does have a Chrono Shift ready to go. Fly has Edge of the Night Shield up. First Nexus turn will fall, but I think they have to peel back after this one. They will get that third Rail's in to a bomb. Ash Arrow comes through, not going to hit anybody. And Longju are all going to try to exit here. Kramer comes back up, Deadly Flourish hits onto Gorilla. Here comes the curtain call. Expression might just have to sacrifice himself for this one. Flashes out, gets out of range. Meanwhile, Fly being found by Spirit. He'll parkour his way into the pit. Spirit, he really wants the kill. Got a flash Mine over coming Fly. coming as well. Out of mana, has to run for his life. Blast code, He's still alive. Spirit over the wall, and Fly is still alive. Throws out the rake to try to slow up Marin, but he is just pinching down towards Gorilla and Bray. Bray trying to turn around, get a kill onto Spirit. They will pop the GA in the end. But you have to think that this is a goodbye and good night for the Ash. Kuro coming Watch in with the TP mid lane. as well, but now Crash going through to mid, maybe looking for a back door. It's just him and Fly left alive. He has a GA. Freaking need to be clear on their call. They are ahead five members to two. They cannot allow Longju to dictate them, but they also have to respect Crash in the base. They didn't have, if Crash had not moved to mid lane, they would have just ran and ended the game. But this might actually extend it even longer, and Crash and Minion Waves have been the MVP of this game. He's still pushing forward, looking so for that looking last well. Nexus turret. All the recalls coming through from Afrika. They will go ahead and break this down. Crash now has to exit. The GA is there. He's got a lot of minions around. He's going to flash forward. Still gets caught by the Q. That's going to be him dying. But this bought enough time for the rest of Longshu to respawn. But it is a very long death timer. One minute as a split timer means that it will be 5v4. Leaving up Baron, they can't afford to contest it. They have to try to just defend. I mean, we saw how good their defense was uh, at the start there before the base got shattered. Kuro still able to offer up those bombs to clear out the waves and lock them in place, but that will be another Baron going. Of course, this one out looks at the answers. Yes, Expression went back. TP's in. Full HP Nautilus right up in your face. No Afrika. one's doing damage yet. This has to be the defense of the century. They get on to Prey. Deal a little bit of damage to him, but Prey just fires back with the help of Fly. They take out Spirit immediately. Gorilla going low, but he's still going to stay alive. They try to get onto Marin. Chrono Shift is there. Kuro trying to die, but won't do it. Gets back to the fountain, and that's going to be Marin going down. That's the Nexus. 48 minutes, a bit of a wild game, but Longju are able to deliver yet another 2 0 victory over Afrika, who are just really on Struggle Street at this point. But consider that Longju tried to brute force the last Fly unique pick, the Zillion, and SKT had the answer. Afrika, a team we want to call, one of these top teams needed